students. We are discussing the subject Computer Integrated Manufacturing System. In first lesson, we have discussed the scope of the CIM and its types. Then in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the concept automation. Now what is automation? Automation is a technology concerned with the application of mechanical, electronic and computer based system to operate and control the production. So whatever is going on for the manufacturing of that particular product, if we are taking help of the mechanical and electronic and computer based system for the manufacturing of that particular product, that concept is known as the automation. Now what it includes? This automation includes First one is the automatic machine tools to process that parts. So what are the different machine tools we are going to use for processing of that particular component that comes under this automation. Next automatic assembly machines. So after processing of that particular individual parts, if we want to assemble that all the different parts for the final product, we can take the help of the automatic assembly machines. Next is industrial robots. So robot plays crucial role in the manufacturing of any product and in automation. So robots can be used for the manufacturing for pick and place operations as well as for assembly, final products assembly. So there are various applications of the robots. Next is a automatic material handling and storage systems. So we are using the help of automatic material handling as well as the storage system that it is also known as the ASRS. Next is automatic inspection system for quality control. So inspection there is ongoing inspection and at the end of the manufacturing there are two types of inspection. So we can take help of robots or the automation for the inspection purpose. Then feedback control and computer process control and last is a computer system for planning data collection and decision making to support manufacturing activities. So what are the what is the different data which is generated at the time of manufacturing it is collected automatically and depending upon that data a decision is taken or the corrective action is taken that will support the manufacturing activities. Now what are the advantages we are getting from the automation for or we can say it why we are going for the automation or what are the reasons for the automation or what is the need of the automation. So we will discuss it one by one. The first point is increase labor productivity. So this is the main criteria or the main advantage we are getting from the automation. Now the automating the manufacturing operations will increases production rate and labor productivity. <coughs> so whenever we are going for the automation, it will increase the production rate as well as the labor productivity. This means the greater output per hour of that particular labor input. So labor input is fixed, but we are getting the greater output. Next point is reduce labor cost. Now, higher investment in automation has become economically justified to replace manual operations. So, when, wherever there is a manual operations and when we are going for the automation, it will be economical. So, machines are increasingly being substituted for manual labors to reduce unit product cost. So whenever there is wherever there is a manual worker is required, we are replacing that manual worker with the automatic machines. So it will reduce the per unit production cost. Third point is mitigate the efforts of labor shortage. So this is the main uh, point in the advanced countries. Countries, for example. In, there is a general shortage of labor in many advanced nations and this has 
stimulated the development of the automated operations as a, a substitute for the labor. So, as there is a shortage of labor or the skilled labor in many advanced countries, so we are replacing that particular task with the machines. Next is reduce or eliminate routine, manual and clerical task. So, automatic machines or the automations or automating such tasks improves general level of the working condition. So, the same routine task can be avoided or can be transferred to the machine so that it will improve the working condition. Next is the improve product quality or the improve worker safety sorry first one is improve worker safety. So, how automation will improve the worker safety? The automating a given operation and transferring the worker from active participation in the process to the monitoring role or removing the worker from the operations altogether make the worker safe. So, there are some situations or hazardous conditions where it is risky for a worker to work. In that conditions, we are replacing that worker with the machines and we are giving only a monitoring role to that particular worker. So, we are improving the worker safety. Next is improve product quality. Now, automation not only results in higher production rates than manual operation, but it also performs the manufacturing process with greater consistency and conformity to quality specifications. So, quality of that particular final product will also increase. Next is reduce manufacturing lead time. Now, what is this lead time? Lead time means starting of that particular manufacturing activity to the end of that particular manufacturing activity. The time required or total time required for completion of that particular product. Now, automation helps to reduce the elapsed time between the customer order and the product delivery providing a competitive advantage to the manufacturer for future orders. By reducing manufacturing lead time, manufacturer also reduced work in process inventory. So, WIP inventory will also get reduced by reducing the manufacturing lead time. Next is accomplishing process that cannot be done manually. Now, there are some process which are difficult for a human worker. Now, certain process cannot be accomplished without the aid of the machines. These processes requires precision, miniaturization or complexity of the geometry that cannot be achieved manually. For example, certain integrated circuits, IC fabrication operations, rapid prototyping processes based on the CAD model and the machining of the complex mathematically defined surfaces using computer numerical control. So, this process can only be realized or manufactured by computer control system. And the last advantage is avoid high cost of not automating. High cost of not automating means if we are not going for the automation, you have to pay high. Now, what is this high cost of not automating? So, there is a significant competitive advantage gained in automating a manufacturing plant. The benefits of automation often show up in unexpected and intangible ways such as improved quality. So, we are getting advantage in terms of the improved quality, higher sales, better labor, labor relations and better company image. Company that do not automate are likely to find themselves at competitive disadvantage with their customers and their employees and with the general public. So, if we are not going to automate in time, it will affect you in future. So, it is a advantageous to go for the automation in time. So, these are the different advantages we are getting from the automation. In next lecture, we will discuss different types of the automation. Thank you.